What's up, everyone? I'm Mike Ruthless, and uh, this week we got a uh, masterpiece track. So it's up that's the KO because obviously, you know, take a close up. There's Takasa Tomi. There's no Transformer logo. Uh, there's no Autobot symbol. It's just a C, and uh, no information there. And uh, just to show you the difference, uh, I got a KO Road Rage, but it has the Transformer symbol, has the Autobot symbol. Yeah, it has the extra data here. The KO track. But they're both KOs. So it's all depending on what box you get, and uh, we'll do Road Rage later. I was going to do both of them at the same time, or both together, but, uh, and now my camera's off to hell. There we go. But uh, I'll do tracks first, you know. All right, right, you know what, let's get to it. Let me just open them up for you guys. And, uh, let's see what we got. Oh. All right, we got it. Instruction sheets, uh, action card. You know, I'll open it up for you guys. You know. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. So, it's an action card. Pretty, you know, pretty high quality. So that's what, that's why a lot of people are asking: Is this are these really KOs or what? What's going on here? You know, even that. Look at that. High quality uh, pictures. I'm not gonna open the whole thing up, but. Uh, you guys got the idea. So. And uh, sprue for the uh, mirrors. So I get, you got two pairs, so you got an extra pair there. Right. And there's the base for uh, when he goes in the flight mode. And uh, Road Rage came with one. Road Rage wasn't supposed to come with one, but he did come with one because they sent it to me. So if you order the KO Road Rage, you'll get it. So there you go. There's tracks. Take that stuff out. Let me get him out. All right. So it comes with the. Uh... All right. This is gonna... They're gonna fall right out. So let me just show you from there though. It comes with the with the uh, blaster for the front of the car when he's in flight mode. Mini blaster. Raul. And uh, his gun. So uh... let me take those out real quick. Okay, so this just yeah, pretty much just little tab there. There's, t is it two tabs right there, and it just pops right in. Oh, stand there, damn it. Yeah, that's how you would tab in. But I'll put them in flight mode. And I'll show them that later. There's the blaster, and that's holy smokes, it's tiny. There's actually a screw in there. Like, like they actually needed two pieces for this, and uh, it does go underneath him here. And I'll show you later. Raul just kind of just stands there. I guess he, whenever cr uh, tracks crashes, the rule will fix him up. And he got his like G1 blaster. There. So, anyway, let's get a let's get a close up of uh, tracks here. So, paneling lines up pretty well. Not too bad. A little bit gap there and here sometimes. I guess now, yeah, now he's good. Uh, what do you expect from a KO? It's a, and uh, the tires are rubber. They're not plastic, so that's a sign of it's a KO. Everything else, though, pretty, pretty good, pretty authentic. There's the head in there, of course. This flips out. Got the Autobot symbol. Uh, you got the Corvette sign there. Uh, plastic quality, great. Paint job, yeah, not much. You know, that of course looks great there. It's a little bit of a uh, yellow, I guess, because the red didn't go on right, but still. Not too bad, not not too bad at all. You know, and of course there's the uh, rear view windows on the side there, the side windows, side mirrors, I should say, rear view mirror. Uh, put that down. Um, but yeah, just uh, rolls pretty good. Doesn't even though it does look, it does not rub at all. It, uh, goes really. Oh, I get back here. No, you're not done yet. And uh, let me get close with this guy. So yeah, there's a, let me just send it, there you go. So, uh, yeah, Masterpiece KO Tracks. Blue Corvette, uh, Stingray actually, so 72, 73, I'm gonna say. And, um, but yeah, I mean, all right, I still got the detail. Uh, nice rims, silver colored. Uh, the blue, sparkling blue. Real good uh, quality. So this is, this is what I'm saying, like these KOs, like, are they rejects? Are they just parts that didn't pass? That they, or did they mix and match parts to make good? You know, you get ten bad ones, 
but you can mix and match to make five good ones. Who knows, you know? Uh, the quality is great. Of course, I got it from my boy uh, Baba Bobo on eBay, and I'll show you the link. It's he's got four what, zero zero seven one two or something. But I'll show you. I'll keep. I'll put the link below, guys, so you know if you want to order from him. But I've ordered from him. I mean, I got all my masterpieces from him within the last what three years now or two years. But uh, he's great, man. He always delivers. Like you got the stuff within ten days. There's tracks. I think. Uh, yeah, I know you guys are waiting for uh, robot mode and flight mode. Uh, let's do flight mode next, though, because it's pretty cool, and I'll show you how it goes on the stand. Forgot to add in. Uh, hood does open, so you see a nice engine, and uh, you open up the window. Like the gun and the blaster, you actually carry in there or ride in there. But I'll do that in a little bit. But uh, there's the back the button hole, whatever you want to call it. And uh, sometimes it doesn't stay because it's a little bit heavy. So you gotta position it where it can stay, and there you go. And uh, put it on an angle if you want. Or... So there's Jazz and his Jazz. So there's tracks in his uh, flying space car mode. No, flying Corvette mode. So just, you know, sometimes, like I said, it's, it's tricky sometimes. You can point him in a certain direction. And uh, hold on a second, guys. Let me just make it easier for you. All right, so there you go. There's double one shot. So real cool, real nice. Anyway, there we go. Tracks in his flying mode. And uh, cool that they incorporated that on there. So pretty good. Oh, oh, it's all blurry. There you go. So all right. You know what's next? Uh, he's already a quarter of the way there. Let's put him into a robot mode and we can review that. But yeah, so uh, this is, I actually, I actually like this a lot. It's pretty cool. Um, like I said, we did uh, the G1 version, does have this kind of. Doesn't look as good. But uh, I like it. Pretty good. I'm glad they incorporated it into the Masterpiece figure. So let's just get this guy in a robot mode. Okay, and there's tracks in his uh, robot mode. And, uh, you see these guys already just put them in there, so let's get a close up of him. And uh real nice figure, real nice details. Red face, just like the cartoon, got the Autobot symbol in there. The um, missiles on. Now the back attaches to here, the doors open up, attach back there. It's a little bit hollow in there, but it works. It it look it uh it looks good, so the fingers articulate a little bit. Well the four at once, you know. He holds the gun real good too, so can't complain there. Of course, the details there, so. Very true to the uh, G1 version, the back. And a nice, cool way the, the legs transform too, I gotta add in. Um, let's see if we can get Blaster on the back there. Hold on a second. And uh, actually, yes, he works. There's a little tab there, so you can tab him in. Either, actually, right to the side there. Let me see if it works. You know, the tab might be, uh, I think the tab's too much. Doesn't go in that, doesn't go in that way. Unless it goes on his ass, I don't know. It's supposed to go on like that somehow. I mean, let's check this side, hold on a second. God, it looks like it doesn't do it. Takara, you messed up. Actually, Takasa, you messed up. KO, can't put it in there. No, um, and that's not what she said. Um, but you guys got the, it's supposed to go in the back there, but it doesn't, but that's okay. Because who, who, who really wants a radio on their ass anyway? So anyway, uh, moving forward. Yeah, there's Masterpiece Kale Tracks, real nice figure. Uh, details there. Uh, there's the back of them. Definitely recommend it if you're into the KOs or if you don't have no, that much money or if you don't want to spend that much money or if you're on a budget like me because I'm an artist so artists are always on budgets. Let me fix that armor over there. We go. And that sometimes that untabs, but that's okay. So, and the wings can you can adjust the wings too if you want. Yeah, if you up your side. Actually, they're better like this. That way the wheels get, the wheels get in the way a little bit. They really haven't fixed that too much, but uh, other than that though. Can't complain. Let me put him in the back there so you can see him. So there's a uh, KO Masterpiece Tracks.
There's Raul. There's Blaster. Do I recommend him? Yes, I do, because he's a good figure. And, uh, that's pretty much it. So, um, remember, this guy's next. Um, when I do the Road Rage, I'll put these guys both together so you can see the differences. But I figured it let Tracks have his thing. You now the Road Rage, with, like I said, with, I'll do the comparisons with Road Rage. A little bit, little bit of differences, but that's about it. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, there's, uh, Masterpiece KO Tracks. Takasa Tony. Baba Bobo 0071 something. Uh, don't worry, I'll put it in the description below. Look for him on eBay and get this guy. He's, uh, this guy's what? 30, 31 shipped. You'll get him in 10 days. Definitely worth it. I'm Mike Ruthless. I'm out. Keep watching. Keep subscribing. More guys coming. And, I, you know, they, especially with the masterpieces, they're going to come as, as soon as I get them. I'll review them. Right now, we're still in Transformers Prime Month, but Prime's almost over. So, um, we got Royal Reads coming up. We got, uh, I might have the, uh, K, not the KO, the, uh, Prototype Ollie, aka Masterpiece Wheelie review up soon too because I'm uh, going to copy him and do that and it's the second version not the first version so he may not be painted up but uh, guys I'm Mike Ruthless thanks for watching I'll talk to you guys later guys real quick I forgot to add on you can use the base frame in robot mode real quick and uh, you can either go there or up top more I think and but he'll be like sitting down now but uh, again uh, depending on he's not he's not a heavy figure but sometimes it won't hold him but if you if you keep him still, he'll hold him up. So, not that he really needs it because he has good balance and rolling mode anyway. But it's nice having those bases. I wish they all had the bases. Actually, it'd be cool. I think because Trax is flying Autobot, they gave him a base. So, but there you go. So, just want to add that in before I uh, almost forgot. So, I mean, I would have put it in with the Road Rage review, but uh, I'll put it in now real quick. So, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Now